Park. Uh, really the concern there of course is what happens next when it comes to uh, the uh, nervousness about supply and any likely disruption to supplies that could occur. Uh, here in the UK the story of the day on the market certainly has been the drug company GlaxoSmithKline. It's facing a criminal investigation in Poland for allegedly bribing doctors. That's according to an investigation by the BBC's Panorama programme. Its shares have been down today but uh, they've managed to recover some of the ground that they lost uh, when markets opened and that news was made public. So a lot for the markets to get their teeth into but of course the big question is what the city made of all of this. Let's speak to Virginie Mazanov, who's head of global equities at PIMCO. Uh, Virginie, good to see you as always. I just want to start with this Glaxo story because markets were pretty volatile this morning, trading in their shares. Uh, they opened down quite heavily, but they've managed to claw some of that back. And this all relates to proposed payments given to people over from the drugs company related to work that they would do. Just talk us through it. Well, I, I think in this case, you know, we really need to find out a bit more about exactly what happened uh, and see where valuations uh, settled. There's a lot of, of good things uh, within the company, but clearly, you know, th this, is, this is an issue. So, so we need a little bit more information, I'm afraid. Yeah, the challenge, of course, there is what it means for pipeline supply and all of those related issues. But let's move on to energy because, of course, it is the big issue of the day when it comes to Russia and Ukraine. Prices rising above $108 a barrel for crude because of fears over supply. Yeah, exactly. I think the, the, the key thing there is to understand what, what uh, Russia and Ukraine are really doing to the whole uh, energy map. Uh, 